Here, have this. It's not a bomb at all. Because that's what cool people do. So I know I've been doing lazy vlogs lately. And today I'm not going to because Lama's coming over and it's definitely going to be normal vlog worthy. So, yes. I'm gonna play now what, guys? And get a llama. <laughs> when it's story time, I will turn it on so that you guys can hear the stories that everybody tells. Hey. Heather's story goes first. Sorry! Okay. Oh, wait, we should probably read the dilemma. Yeah. Here. Okay, guys. Okay. 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 Go ahead. You read it. You are ready to walk out the door to catch a plane. In your rush, you knock over a bowl filled with glass marbles and they scatter across a tile floor. You can't leave them there, but you certainly don't have time to pick them up individually. What do you do? Manga, what are you going to do? Okay. I am going to use the shovel to scoop them all up. And then I'm going to use the head of lettuce as a sort of bowl to scoop them all into. And then I'm using the yo-yo to tie it shut so they can't get out. And then I'm going to my plane. <laughs> a head of lettuce, huh? Yep. Well, you rip it. And are you gonna are you gonna give it to customs when you get there? What are you gonna do? Yep. You're just gonna <laughs> have a present. <laughs> Here, have this. It's not a bomb at all. What I would do first, I would put on my snowshoes. I would then take the shovel and scoop all the marbles onto my snowshoes which I would then carefully pick up my foot and dump them into my baseball cap that I flipped over and laid on the floor. <laughs> then they could just stay in the hat till I got home and think about what they've done. <laughs> I gotta reach. Yeah, you Drop gotta reach. Thing. Oh, here. I can put them on for okay. you. Okay, first I'm going to get the shovel off the front porch. I'm going to scoop all the marbles into the baseball cap. And I'm going to dump them onto my snowshoes. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I almost said a bad word. Aww. What's, what's a bad word? Um, hmm. do, you, do you really want to know? No, no, I'm trying to think. I, I, was, try, I was trying to like... I was gonna troll it. Like someone's like, ah, they said a dirty word. It's like, yep. Dirt. Butts. Some pretty dirty stuff. Mud. <laughs> Muds. Butts. Butts. <laughs> okay. What I would do is I would take the baseball cap. You gotta use the things. I'd take the baseball cap. I'd lay it upside down on the floor. I'd take the spoon and mm. scoop up all the mar marbles off the floor and throw them in the baseball cap, and then I would take the shovel and <laughs> put them all back in the bowl. You've been working for months painting the outside of your house and have, and have just one small patch left under the eaves. When you climb the ladder, you encounter a huge hornet's nest. You're deathly allergic and might not survive an attack by this many hornets and they're buzzing all around you. Now what? Okay. My first action would be to take my 20 foot scarf and cover all my exposed body parts so that I have a shield. I would then take the moldy cheese out of my pocket because for some reason I take the moldy cheese with me wherever I go. <laughs> and I use it to attract my pet llama <laughs> to come get me I jump on its back and we ride away into the sunset. Yay! <laughs> you only gave me two. I was stuck. <laughs> you you okay. have a fourth one somewhere, don't lose it. Here, give me the fourth one so that it doesn't... Because you only need three. Okay. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to smear the moldy cheese all over me to protect me from them. I'm going to stuff a pillow in their hole and fling a deck of cards at any loose um wasps that are attacking me <laughs> okay <laughs> all right okay i would take the deck of cards show, show them in their face Evie. i got it 
<clears throat> okay, so I would take the deck of cards, shove it in their face so they'd be confused, take the fingernail clippers, cut off their wings, and then stuff their face in the moldy cheese. <laughs> Morbid. Nice. Okay. First, what I would do is I would use my shiny tiara to blind them. <laughs> and then while they are blinded, I'm going to use my mattress to slide down the ladder onto the back of my llama and make my getaway. <laughs> Llamas are the perfect getaway animal. <laughs> all right. Whoever rigged the chandelier to fall on you almost succeeded. Amazingly, the huge glass creation misses you by inches as you shuffle toward the kitchen for a midnight snack. You're in total darkness, surrounded by broken glass and, of course, not wearing shoes. You need to flee before your would-be assassin comes back to finish the job. All right, it's it's mom. A, the chandelier, chandelier falling. The glass all okay, over. It's been a while since I, he did. We had a bit yeah, of... Yeah, I didn't hear the other stories. We had a bit of a delay. Okay. Or, or, we, we didn't read any of them. Oh, that's right. I'm first. Right? Yeah, you're first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <sighs> what was I thinking? Okay, I'm going to jump on the back of my piggy bank. I'm going to grab hold of the bungee cord and let the tractor pull me out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I would take the bungee cord, mm. strap the photo album to my feet, and then eat, walk to the kitchen and eat the ear of corn for my midnight snack. No, oh, those are mine. Hold on. <laughs> hey, you know what? She's the only, I think she's the only one who solved the hunger issue. Yeah, I, for, I forgot the midnight snack. All right, so, mine. What was I gonna do? I don't know. Okay, I was going to take the ketchup and squirt it all over the floor, and then I was gonna jump onto the photo album to slide out of the middle of the glass, and then I'm gonna grab the lemon for when my yeah, a would-be assassin comes back and I'm gonna squirt it in his eyes. <laughs> what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna grab the scissors. And I'm gonna take the football and I'm gonna cut it open and turn it into shoes that I can put on my, or just something will slip on my feet so that I can get to the riding lawnmower and go to the cops. Yes. Okay, mom dropped out, so okay. it's just a three. Okay. okay. You've been bo bowling okay. in leagues since you were five. Every year for your birthday you you get you get a brand new bowling ball. Each one has sentimental value and you haven't been able to part with any of them. Today you're moving into your first house where you finally have a place to display them. As the movers unload the crate with the 20 bowling balls it opens and the balls start rolling down the hill. What now? Now what? Now what? That face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magnifying glass to melt all of the clay into a strip, a sticky strip, across the thing at the bottom of the hill to catch all of the bowling balls that are running away. And then I'm going to use the remote control plane to fly each one back up because I ain't carrying 20 balls up the hill. Screw that. <laughs> mm. Okay. So, what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to grab the false teeth. I'm going to pick off pieces using the teeth as a scoop of, uh, to get the clay. And I'm going to use the handsaw, like this, to fling the clay so that it gets down the hill in front of the bowling balls to stop them and then I'm gonna make the guys that were moving my stuff go get them and they ain't getting paid. So sentimental balls, man. Remember to put your chips down. Yeah. I, I wanted to take... call them pogs. Oh man. Pogs. <laughs> that was a thing. Put them in your tracker keeper. <sighs> I would take the 10 pounds of clay. I would um stick them in Use them, stick the dirty diaper <laughs> to the airplane, and then fly down to pick each one up and bring it back. What does the dirty diaper have to do with anything? <laughs> she just or wanted the clay. You didn't do anything with either of those. <laughs> Take the 10 pounds of clay, and then... I think she failed in that one. Yeah, that was... Stick <laughs> the dirty diaper to the airplane. You're nuts. <laughs> well, it did say it didn't have to make sense. I guess so. Nobody got clay anyway. 
shivering in the cold, you walk past the frozen sides of beef to the back of the store's walk-in freezer to put away the last carton of fish sticks. Suddenly, the broom handle holding the door open falls down and the door slams shut. As cold air pours in from the vent five feet over your head, you realize that your co-workers will leave for the night any minute and you'll become a human icicle by morning. Now what? All right, Let's ready? go. First, I would put the throw blanket around me, obviously. Then I would turn on the grill and throw the cheese hat into it. That's gonna create a whole bunch of smoke and get the fire alarms going. And then they'll Yay. notice. I would take the, the grill, I'd turn it on, start getting warm. I'd put the throw blanket around me to try and keep warm and use the cheese hat to keep my head warm. Are you kidding me? All the fuck, ah. Watch that be the same three she picked. All right. <laughs> and all it. Uh. Okay, now what I would do is I would use the throw blanket to close up the vent up in the top to try and prevent the cold air from coming in. Oh. And then I'm going to take the roses what? and I'm going to put them in the toaster and turn it on so that they catch fire and then alert the smoke alarms to go off. Hmm. I, I would use the nail polish and write help on the window. <laughs> There's no window. It's a freezer. <laughs> well, isn't there usually a window on the freezer? No. 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 Each year you volunteer to work at the town carnival. This year you're asked to run the merry-go-round. It's an easy job. Get the kids situated on the horses and then push the button to start the ride. After three minutes, push the button again to stop it and help the kids off. The first few hours are uneventful, but now the merry-go-round is going ten times faster than normal. You push the button again, but the ride won't stop. Now what? Okay. First, I would take the fan. I would um force it backwards on the merry-go-round. Like, mount it to the merry-go-round so it would like, push it away so it would slowly stop rotating. I would, once it gets some um, small enough, or slow enough, I take the handcuffs, handcuff the uh, like one of the bars to a pole on the ground, get it to stop, and then use the bag of marshmallows to give all the kids treats when they get off. While well, they're all feeling pukey. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, what I would do, is I'm gonna take the marshmallows and I'm throwing them underneath into the gears to try and gum it up. And then I'm gonna use the fan to harden them to stop it. And then I'm gonna have the suitcase there because all those kid, poor kids that are on there are gonna be puking and they can puke in the suitcase. Saves me from cleaning up the merry room. Hmm. You guys picked all my cards. I was gonna, t well, except for one. <laughs> I'm going to get the lava lamp hot, mix it with the marshmallows, throw it in the suitcase, and then throw the suitcase underneath in the gears to gum everything up, because the lava lamp's gonna melt those, so. Okay. Your brand new riding lawnmower has a cruise control feature that you haven't used because the idea seems ab absolutely absurd. But you're curious to see how it works. You finally figure out how to set it, set the cruise, and you are mowing away when you suddenly realize you don't know how to disengage it. The mower is speeding toward your neighbor's awkward, uh, award-winning, yeah, it's award-winning. Award-winning flower garden and now, and you don't know how to stop. Now what? Thinking. 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 Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to jump off or roll off. I'm grabbing the garden gnome to wedge it under the front of the front of the lawnmower to finally stop it. And then I'm gonna use the nail polish to try and paint the flowers to make them look like I didn't run them over. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use the $100 bill and take them out for dinner. Because, oops, I'm sorry.
Cozy Oops, I'm sorry. I don't care about your flowers. Okay. <laughs> Now, I had a hard time one with this one because <laughs> I had to choose between the Viking helmet and the eye patch. That was hard for me. So, I, I decided that I was going to take the Viking helmet and the eye patch, <laughs> put them on, roll off of the, the lawnmower. Take the can of spray paint and throw it underneath the lawnmower so that it would catch on the blades, explode, <laughs> and then I would run away and go into hiding as a one-eyed viking. So that he could never know that I killed his azaleas. <laughs> okay. I would take the garden gnome, jab it underneath the lawnmower, make it stop after yeah, he accidentally ran over the neighbor's garden. Then I would take the dog collar, try and prop up all the flowers to make it look like I they weren't all crushed, and I and I'd take the spray paint and color them back to normal. Okay. Cool beans. I've been done playing the game for quite a while now. Okay. It's a llama. We. Watch videos, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of videos and stuffs and things. And we turned on fan noise for the llama. Because I've slept with a fan since before I was born. Like when my mom was pregnant with me, she slept with a fan. You can't sleep without one. Yep. So. Yep. I hope you all have a wonderful night, slash morning, slash whatever it is, wherever you are. And we will see you all in the morning. Good night. Our love will break through this maze